Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my YouTube channel Calculus and Mathematics Learning. In the previous video, we learned of question number 13 and question number 14, the last two questions of exercise number 1.1 related with chapter number 1 function and limits of APC part 2 mathematics. Today we are going to start a new exercise, exercise number 1.2. In this video, I will solve the question number 1 related with exercise number 1.2 related with simplification of the following function. It tells that simplify the following function or solve the following function. There are six parts in question number one. Part one tells that four power three x and power two y solve this uh, function, and the second one is ten power three x minus one dot. Dot is actually the multiplication sign, and here is ten power four minus x, and c is c part is e power x minus three divided by e power x minus four, and I will go to solve them one by one. So let's solve part first, part A. Here we have a formula used. The formula is the logarithmic formula A power M and power N. When the base have two power, just like M is power and N is also power. So according to the law and according to the property, both the power are multiplied with each other and it becomes A power M and N. So here the same logic will apply to the part number one. It, uh, we are, uh, here, here we have four power 3x power 2y. So here 3x is the power and 2y is the power, they will multiply with each other, so it becomes a 4 power 3x multiply 2y. So it becomes a 4 power 3 multiply 2, it gives us 6, and x will multiply with y, it becomes a 6y, xy. So the result for the simplification is 4 power 6xy. Now after this I am going to solve part b. According to the property when the bases are same, here the bases are 10, let's suppose the bases are a power m dot a power n. Here in this law, the bases are a. So when the bases are same according to the law, the power will be added. Here the power are m and n, so it means that a power m plus n. The power will be added and the base will come down the same. Using the same property in the part b, here we have 10 power 3 x o minus 1 dot 10 power 4 minus x o. Here the power are 3x minus 1 and 4 minus x both will be added. So 10 power 3x minus 1 will be added with 4 minus x. So, so after this we will simplify this 3x and minus x it gives us 2x. So, and 4 minus 1 gives us plus 3. So the result is 10 power 2x plus 3 this is part b. Now simplifying and solving part c. Here we have e power x minus 3 and here we have x uh, e power x minus 4. So according to the law, if we have a power m divided by a power n. So according to the law, here the power of n is plus. So by moving to the uh, multiplication, it becomes uh, a power m multiply. Here the power is plus. So by moving above to the numerator, the power will become a power minus n. Using the same law over here. So uh, here we have a power x minus 3 divided by e power x minus 4. He, he is actually, actually exponential function. So x minus 4 power here if we suppose to be plus. So, so by moving to the numerator it becomes uh, here e, we have e power x minus 3 dot o. When e power x minus 4 goes to the uh, numerator the power will be minus time of x minus 4. So it will become e power x minus 3 dot o, e power minus x o and minus minus gives us plus 4. Here the same law will be used e power x minus 3 and e power minus x plus 4. This law a power m dot a power n when the bases are same just like e and e the power will be added m plus n. So x minus 3 will be added with minus x plus 4. So it becomes e power x minus 3 will be added with minus x o and plus o 4. x will cancel out with negative x and we are left with e power 4 minus 3 gives us 1. So the answer is just e. Now solving part D, part E and part 4, the last three part of question number 1 related with exercise number 1.2. Part D is e power x divided by e power 3 minus x o. So the same law will be used which we used in the previous part, part C. So here e power x o, here the power let's suppose is plus o, 3 minus x o. So by moving to the numerator the power will become minus time of 3 minus x. It means that the power will be changes from positive to negative. So here it becomes e power x o dot o, e power minus 3 and minus minus gives us plus x o. Using the law a power m dot a power n when the bases are same just like e the power will be added. So it becomes e power x o minus 3 and plus o x o. So it becomes e power x plus x gives us 2x and here is minus 3. So the result are e power 2x minus 3. 
After this move to part E, we have 2 E power 1.2 T power 3. So here this power 3 is on the both exponential function and on the constant 2. So here we will take this dead power separately on the exponential function and on this constant. We can write it just like 2 power 3. I took this power 3 and 2 just like over here and I will took, uh, take this power 3 and e power 1.2t just like e power 1.2t whole power 3 on this function. Now 2 power 3 means that 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 it gives us 8. After this so e power 1.2 multiply 3 gives us 3.6 so the result will be e power 3.6t. So the whole result will be 8 e power 3.6 t. So this is the result. Now move to the part F. The same law we applied over here which we use in this question. This 2 power will be on both 3 and exponential function. So it becomes a 3 power 2. Dato e power minus 1.4 x and whole square. 3 power 2 means that 3 multiply 3 it gives us 9. After this one. Minus 1.4 multiplied to give us a minus 2.8x. So the whole result will be 9 times of e power minus 2.8x. So with this question, uh, uh, question number 1 for the exercise number 1.2 is completed. In the next video, inshallah, I will solve question number 2 related with exercise number 1.2. If you like the video, so subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon to receive the upcoming notification about uh, class 12 FSC part 2 mathematics. Thank you.